hello have you ever developed what or have you ever heard of what so if you haven't what or genital warts are fleshy growths that uh, appear on your skin or your mucous membranes due to an infection with the virus called human papilloma virus human papilloma virus is an infection which is a sexually transmitted infection through skin to skin contact and it is the one that causes this uh, genital warts. So today mainly we're going to be talking about genital warts, but there are other types of warts as well that appears on other type uh, parts of the body. For example, the fingers, the feet, uh, the mouth, armpits, or in your airways. But today we shall be talking about genital warts, which is uh, usually around your genitalia and your anal area. Human papilloma virus infection, eh? is a sexually transmitted infection and when it gets into your body it goes into these cells and causes changes in the cell resulting in two these abnormal changes and growth of the warts so there are different types of these viruses some of which causes cancer for example cancer of the cervix vaginal wall cancers and vulva cancers in in women meanwhile in men it can cause penile cancer but today we shall be focusing on the one that causes uh, genital warts and mostly the one that causes genital warts is uh, types 6 and 11. This virus, when you get infected with it, uh, it can take longer for the warts to grow uh, sometimes and some, in some people they never develop warts but they carry the infection and there are some people who carry this infection for the rest of their life. So. Uh, how common is this uh, human papilloma virus and what? So human papilloma virus is a common infection, uh, especially among the young population of the, of the age 17 to 33 years old. But how do you recognize this what? So when you develop this what, you can easily recognize it because it has a distinctive appearance. It looks like a cauliflower appearance. For example, uh, if you look at this cauliflower, this is how the warts look like and when you see it growing you can easily recognize and sometimes they are associated with uh, pay, um, some pain or bleeding or itching but usually they don't have symptoms it's just the growth if you see these warts what can you do uh, the best thing is you need to go see a doctor because they, they can also screen you for other uh, STDs as well what if it's not if left untreated it can dis disappear on its own uh, usually in two years some of them and some can increase in size now uh, these are their treatments for these what's genital what's yes there are many treatments have uh, options available however remember that even with these treatments sometimes these what's can reoccur and you may need to have multiple treatments for it to go away uh, so which treatments can you use for what? There are several treatments. Uh, there are topical treatments, meaning it, the creams you can apply on the what? For example, imiquimod, uh, podophyllum, uh, podophyllox, uh, you can apply. And some of these, uh, for you to apply, you need to protect your skin because they can burn the skin. Uh, therefore, you will need to apply Vaseline and on, on your normal skin. And then you use an applicator to put the the cream on the warts. Uh, these warts can also be treated through um, injections into the warts by the doctors, uh, or can use electrical electrical currents to remove these warts. There is also famous uh, treatment modality that's uh, cryotherapy, where they use liquid nitrogen to burn these warts, uh, as well as uh, use of uh, surgery uh, for these warts. So if you want to know more about uh, genital warts and how you can use the creams to treat these warts at home, please watch my next video in which I'm going to show you how you can apply these creams to treat the warts. Thank you very much and please get vaccinated against uh, HPV uh, as well as uh, spread this information. And those women, uh, women uh, around the age of 25, for example in Australia, from that time you start cervical cancer screening and make sure you attend your cervical cancer screening regularly 
because you never know you might have gotten infected with the virus but haven't developed any symptoms and you may end up having uh, cervical cancer or cancer of the vaginal wall or any and when you go and it's detected early the outcomes are better when uh, uh, compared to when they are detected late so thank you very much this is dr ice see you next time